digital scope is a powerful tool to use during the design and testing of a servo-controlled machine. This allows you to evaluate system performance, fine-tune motion and profile parameters, and perform debugging of complex issues. Delta's ASDA soft software comes with a digital scope that provides four channels of real-time data at a rate of 8 kilohertz. We will demonstrate this today. In this example, we are going to demonstrate using the scope during tuning to evaluate the performance changes that occur. We will use the auto gain tuning window and the following parameters to generate our motion. Once running, we are ready to begin. Open the scope tool by clicking here. The scope has three main areas. The graph where traces are displayed, the channel selector and information area, and the settings bar. We'll start by selecting the channels we want to view, specifically speed command and motor current. The other two channels can be left the same. Now click Run to begin capturing data in real time. Once you've collected enough data, just click Stop to complete your capture. Now the data displays on your screen. Click the green button to rescale the data to the full screen. In order to scale each channel individually, go to Properties and click this icon. Now when pressing the green button, each channel will scale individually. This allows us to see finer detail on channels like the motor current. To zoom in on a specific section of data, just drag a zoom box over that area to display only that area of the graph. You can do this multiple times to zoom in on a specific area, and then use the return arrow here to return back to a previous screen. Drag the cursor over the graph in order to see the data updating on the bottom. Note the position error at this time. Now we will update the parameters using the auto gain tuning window and test the performance difference on the scope. Restart the motion and then access the scope and run again. Again we will display the data using the tools of the scope to zoom in on the data that we want to view. Here we can see that the position error has greatly improved. Another useful scope tool is the trigger. A trigger on a scope allows you to stop capturing data automatically when a certain condition occurs. In this case, we're going to stop data when channel 1 exceeds a value of 1 and then capture for two more seconds in order to grab the rest of the data. Here we see the stop condition occurred and two more seconds of data was captured afterwards. This concludes our introduction to the scope tool. For more questions, please contact Delta Products.